speed and velocity. Okay, remember when we did distance and displacement, you had the distance, and I'll just call it distance here, which is not caring about direction. Okay, that's distance. That is something called a scalar. Scalars are just things that don't care about direction. We did displacement, which I'll refer to as DISP. It does care about direction. Those things are called vectors. Now, speed or velocity, they're both concepts that mean uh, how fast you're going. Speed is going to be the scalar quantity for how fast you're going. So speed is how fast you're going, but who cares in what direction. So it's how fast, but no direction. So that would be like a statement like that car can go 100 kilometers an hour. Okay? That's speed. Velocity, on the other hand, well, velocity is your vector version of how fast. It is how fast, but it's with a direction. So that's like saying my car can drive 100 kilometers an hour towards Polo Park. As long as you give it a direction, it's a velocity. Without a direction, it is a scalar. Okay, let's just look quickly at the units. Okay, your units for something that's going how fast, well, just think back to how you say it. You say my car can go 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, it can either go 100 kilometers an hour or it can go 100 kilometers an hour towards Polo Park. It can have a speed or velocity, but regardless, it's going 100 kilometers every hour. So your kilometers is going to be your distance slash displacement, depending on what we're talking about, direction or no direction, and your hours is the time frame. Okay, you can also have another way of saying how fast you're going. It's just a different unit. It's something that we're actually going to end up using a little bit more often. It's meters per second. Now, if you're going 100 meters per second, that's really fast. But if you're going 100 meters every second, you can see again, that's either distance or displacement, depending, and a seconds is time. These are very vague on purpose. Generally, we're going to make our statements in terms of velocity. Because in physics, we're really more concerned with direction than not direction. So we're going to call things average velocity, but sometimes the question will read like a speed. It'll just ask you how fast, and it won't care about direction. Your answer would be the same answer that you would get with the same unit. You just wouldn't have a direction attached to it. So your vague formula is going to be average velocity, which we write as VAV for average. It's going to be the total displacement. Now I'll write the whole word out this time. Over the time to actually have total displacement occur. That's like your first formula. And if we did it for speed, now this is your velocity form because it has displacement. If we did it for the speed form, we'd still write VAV, except now you would go total distance over time. And that is your speed version of that question, okay, or that statement. You'll notice Displacements in meters or kilometers, times in seconds or hours. So kilometers per hour, meters per second. Kilometers per hour, meters per second. The units are the same. It's very, very vague on purpose. And 
there is going to be other ways of writing this. For now, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, so let's try a simple example. We're going to calculate the average, uh, we'll go with speed. So the average speed needed to travel, let's go 700 kilometers in 3.5 hours. Okay, so it's average velocity. So we would need to know which direction the 700 kilometers was going. So let's say 700 kilometers north. If it was just average speed, we would just say 700 kilometers in 3.5 hours. So our average velocity for that entire trip is going to be our displacement over our time. So your average velocity is going to be 700 kilometers, 700 kilometers over 3.5 hours. So that should be... So that should be uh, 700 divided by 3.5. That's going to be 200. You look at your units, kilometers divided by hours, uh, kilometers per hour. And then we need to say the direction as well. North can be expressed as a capital N. There you go. That is how you do just a, a simple word problem. And the other kind that you can see, the other kind of question might be, more expressed in terms of vectors. So we don't need to write out anything. You would just be asked to find, uh, given a whole bunch of vectors. So let's say the car went this way, then it went this way again, and then it came back this way, then it came way over here, and then it sh went to there. Okay, we have to fill in some actual values here. So let's say that this thing went, let's say this is uh, 15, meters. Okay, we'll say that it took three seconds to do it. Let's say that this is another 15 meters and this one took four seconds to do it. This one is going to be 10 meters, which is going to have taken two seconds. And this one, it looks like 20 meters. That's going to have occurred in, let's say, five seconds. And finally, this last one, let's say this one is 12 meters and it occurs over four seconds as well. Okay, so you have all of your directions, your vectors as long as, as well as the direction, right or left, and how long it took. So if we want to find the average speed, okay, so we're going to go with speed in this case. So we'd still go V average, and it would end up being distance, total distance, over total time. So your total distance would end up being 15 plus 15 plus, we go plus because we don't care about direction, plus 10, plus 20, plus 12. And it occurs in a time frame of 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4. So your average velocity, sorry, your average speed is going to end up being 30 plus 30 plus 12. So it's going to end up being 72 divided by 7, 9, 14, 18. So 72 divided by 18. So your average velocity, average speed is 72 divided by 18. That gives you 4, and it was in meters and seconds. So 4 meters per second without a direction. Now, if we were going to be finding velocity, well, that's a little different now. Same formula except we're using displacement time. So that's going to end up equaling, now we have to keep our directions. And remember, right is going to be positive, left is going to be negative. So I'm going to go positive 15 plus positive 15 plus negative 10 plus negative 20 plus positive 12. 
and that's going to be all over top of the same time frame because time doesn't change directions it's just always the same thing so it's always going to end up being 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4 and when we do all this we still get 18 on the bottom but now we have to go okay way of positive 30 subtract 10 that's positive 20 subtract 20 that's 0 plus 12 so now we have plus 12 over 18 so your average velocity is going to be 12 over 18 which is 0 0.67 meters per second this is positive so you can leave it as positive or you can indicate that positive means right but you need to have that direction because it's a velocity so there you go, lots of information about distance, displacement, speed and velocity.